Tensions in the South China Sea and planning for a post-pandemic economic recovery have been top of the agenda on day one of the ASEAN summit. Regional leaders are also expected to sign a landmark free trade pact after years of negotiation. The four-day summit is being hosted online by Vietnam. For more, let's turn to Tung Nu, joins us live from Hanoi. So, uh, Tung, how will um, ASEAN handle uh, this post-pandemic uh, rec economic recovery? Well, the ASEAN leaders today discussed and agreed upon a framework for comprehensive recovery for ASEAN after COVID-19. We haven't been able to obtain the documents of the framework yet, but we understand in that framework, the leaders renewed their commitments to strengthen cooperation, to boost intra-ASEAN trade and investment, as well as to strengthen economic cooperation between ASEAN and other partners. And as part of this effort, the uh, leaders also emphasize the need to uh, strengthen cooperation to maintain the regional supply chains and to maintain the flow of essential goods and services. And the leaders uh, are committed uh, to remove or minimize non-tariff barriers to trade. And as part of the effort, um, the leaders also discussed to remove the remaining obstacles for the signing of the uh, Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership for the signing uh, this Sunday. And this mega trade deal will create uh, the world's uh, largest trading block uh, that accounts for about 30% of the world global GDP. And that is expected uh, to support economic recovery uh, for regional economies. And experts believe that ASEAN is at its most dangerous points in its entire economic uh, uh, history. So cooperation uh, among ASEAN has become even more important. And let's take a listen to what Vietnamese Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phúc has to say about these challenges that uh, ASEAN is facing. Chúng ta đang trải qua những thời khắc vô cùng khó khăn khi cuộc sống và sinh mạng người dân bị đe dọa bởi Covid-19, đời sống kinh tế xã hội bị đảo lộn chắc trồng thêm bởi thiên tai bão lũ hạn hán gai gắt những tiến bộ xã hội và thành quả kinh tế tích lũy qua hàng thập kỷ có nguy cơ bị cuốn trôi và các quốc gia cần nhiều năm nữa để khắc phục và vượt qua những tổn thất này earlier today ASEAN leaders we also had also hold summit meetings with their counterparts from China, Japan, South Korea, and India. And a dominating theme uh, at uh, those summits has been the need to strengthen cooperation to maintain the uh, regional supply chains to put regional economies on a path towards economic recovery. Okay, Mayor, thanks for that, Tung. We'll check in with you tomorrow for day two of the ASEAN Summit.